Uh, I'm gonna go over each um, item here. The sensor dead band I usually run at one. It creates a little bit more buzz on the servo, but it really um, gives better performance. It's a dead band. How much the gyro should tolerate or how little it should tolerate before sending out the command to the servo. So the lower number the less dead band and the faster the gyro reacts. Uh, the RC dead band is the same as on the on the cyclic whereas if you have drifting you raise the RC dead band and it actually helps then it's time to um, look for a better radio. Acceleration is a very important parameter. It gives you that um, timing feel of the gyro, uh, meaning this, it controls the start and stop. How fast should the gyro try to reach its target speed? Uh, and how fast should it stop? Um, if you do a 360 pirouette and you release a stick and the gyro overshoots it moves too far and what compared to what you're used to then you raise this a few knots I run 70 or 75 on all my machines uh, it, it, it's just a timing uh, but you can tweak this to get the perfect feel for you when it comes to the P and I gain proportional and integral gain there is no need to change both of them because you actually do that when you raise this bar so you only have to tweak it if you're gonna change the the, the, the different relationship between them um, you can um, the proportional is the you, let's say we raise it to 120 for and we're gonna get a very very fast tail wag uh, like buzzing kind of very hard uh, tail wag it's the proportional part. The E part is the he uh, heading hold. We cannot raise this too high. It will get catastrophic above, well, depends on the size of the helicopter, but for a 5090 size above 75 um, is the maximum. Um, for a T Rex 250, it could be uh, as low as 40 as max. So, uh, don't wander off too far from the preset, uh, is my um, key concern. It will try to hold the tail, the, the higher you have, it will try to hold the tail the better or the, uh, as much as it can, basically. Uh, if you raise it too high, you will get a, something called positive control feedback a little loop back uh, and it will start what I call super wag you get 45 degrees wag in each direction and going just forth and back forth and back fast 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 uh, if it happens in flight it's very very scary but it's very easy to stop it because any rudder input if you just move the stick it will stop uh, it happens to me a few times when, when I've been playing around with the settings uh, and it's not dangerous, but it's very scary. And if you're not prepared on it, uh, then you can crash from it. Regular, if you, I uh, go to the field and I feel that the tail is kicking out on hard moves, uh, I usually try to raise the eye gain five points, ten points max. Then I use the pre comp to fix the rest. Because there is a balance between pre-comp and eigen, uh, which is not a given because it depends. Everything depends on how much pitch do you have, what blades do you have, what motor does it bog, how's your batteries, what tail blades do you have, uh, what's the tail main to tail rotor ratio. There is so many parameters, so there is no single setups that will work 100% with everything but if you keep in mind that use the preset you can go up 10 points on this one and then adjust this one and that one to get the perfect setup for you if you find yourself you have raised the pre-comp by the way the pre-comp is where it actually sends that you're using collective let's kick out the tail and help the gyro so if you find yourself you're raising this 
10 points and it's not enough even then because I'm running 15 uh, degrees pitch then I might need to raise the eye gain 5 points more and that then I can take off a little bit here because you will come to a critical point like I say everything with a tail gyro is balance it's balance between the parameters it's not raising one par parameter very high that won't work that's the trade-off so if I do a tail slide and during that tail slide I start a pitch pump that's that's my uh, way to easiest to see what I gonna change because if I do that and the tail actually start kicking out in uh, um, the wrong way meaning clockwise uh, I have too much pre-comp or too high eye gain uh, it still might not uh, hold perfectly during a uh, very very hard move uh, but in in some there is balance there is a point where I have to accept that as a trade-off because then it will be good in nine or actually perfect in 99% of all our other maneuvers so don't uh, just look at one maneuver and, and um, uh, try to tweak that you need to look at the whole picture and see, see that uh, the IDK is only used if you're using uh, simulating rate gyros and 401 but for 3D flight you should use VSTAB and, and that means IDK 0. Uh, stop gain uh, A and B I never use them except on m one machine and that's my Stratus with very soft tail gears. Uh, acceleration gives so much that I actually don't feel that stop gain is really that much needed anymore because if you raise the acceleration the stops is accelerated as well and that takes the edge of uh, the stop gain quite a lot. Expo settings same thing here as the cyclic linear uh, light is 7% medium is 15% deep is 30 with one difference if I choose an expo curve here I will get less uh, period rate if I have a very fast period rate uh, over here or I can actually tweak it for those uh, crazy pyro people to 200 and then if I set a expo setting here that is not linear I will get less if I choose linear and have expo curve in the radio is gonna be faster uh, it's a b some built-in restriction there I don't know why but uh, that's the way it is uh, collective and cyclic pre-comp is something you have to tweak as I said it's a relationship there is no right and wrong the presets are often quite good but you might need to tweak it many uh, has to raise the collective a little bit and lower the cyclic it, it, you have to test it that's the only way to find out the perfect setting for you Zero pitch is something that's not used on 3D machines really. Uh, it's to learn the V bar tail where zero pitch is. Uh, on scale machines, it's very important because then it's not uh, perfectly given where the zero pitch is. But as we on set up our uh, 3D helicopters, it's not needed. And then we have the presets for, like I said, simulated rate modes, but that's, uh, I never actually used any of them, but I guess in a sca scale situation you want a rate mode. So that concludes the tail rotor, uh, and we will, uh, I will actually go through the other ones as well uh, in the next part.